Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are starting a week long video of um, basically a freezer clean out. Um, as you know, we are moving to the Tallahassee, between Tallahassee, Panama. We haven't really uh, figured out exactly where we're going there just yet, but um, we are still currently in Fleming Island right now and we are having to eat down basically everything or as much as we can from our freezers and refrigerators. Um, and then even some stuff from our pantry because Packers Movers cannot pack certain things. So today is Sunday, June 11th, and we are going to record and vlog a whole week of basically meals. And I'm actually kind of excited about this because I love to cook. So hang on. First meal up is crab. So if you watch so if you watch some of my um, like grocery hauls and like budget videos that go out once a month, um, we like to take advantage of the crab when it goes on sale at Winn-Dixie for like $10 a pound. That's like really, really good. Um, and then like right now Publix has theirs on sale and they're like $13 a pound. So whenever Winn-Dixie has that $10 a pound for crab, we like to take advantage of it, but we have quite a bit in our freezer. So. Um, there's probably going to be two nights of crab this week. Um, today's Sunday, so probably maybe next weekend we'll do another crab. Um, and then I've already pulled out a whole chicken, and it's thawed, and it will go in the either the Dutch oven or the crock pot. I haven't quite figured out exactly which one I'm going to do, but that'll be for tomorrow for sure. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to kind of show you what I'm pulling from the freezer, and we're really trying not to spend... Um, a lot of extra money on groceries because we're trying to eat down what we already have so i'm really 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 trying to only if i have to go to the grocery store like today i did i had to go grab some seasoning and um some shrimp to go with the crab just because i didn't have any um and then i'm really going to try and shop my pantry for the next week and so i hope that you guys enjoy this video and the concept of this video and if you like cooking videos go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up because I do these every now and then. And without further rambling, let's get into it. Okay, so I've got my big pot pulled out here. I use this only for crab bowls, basically. Um, I've got my water already in there, getting it heated up. And then I pulled this from the pantry. We have, a, well, we have about half of this large container. And then I went and picked up two small ones today because I really wasn't sure how much I had at home. So um, I would rather be safe than sorry. Um, so I'm gonna use this whole thing and go ahead and dump all of this in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dump in this other one that's nope, never been opened. I'll dump that in there. All right, so once this gets to the point where it's, um, like boiling kind of I will like not quite boiling but you know like almost there I'll go ahead and throw in the rest of everything else now hang on now I do have six little like baby corns and I picked up a um, sausage uh, um, a Cajun sausage uh, the what is this Cajun style on Dewey smoked sausage so I'm gonna chop this up and then I'm gonna throw these in these are frozen um, I'm gonna throw those in there now and then I'll cut this up and then just like drop them in and then once it starts boiling I'll go ahead and throw the shrimp in and then we will get the crab in and all that good stuff This is the kind of shrimp that we use. It's just the public extra large shrimp. Easy to peel, deveined. Always go for the deveined. Um, also, this was buy one, get one. It was supposed to be easy to peel. At Publix. So yeah. that's why we went for this because we actually prefer the fresh. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Okay. 
All right, so I've got these guys halfway thawed out, and I went ahead and put the Obey on them to let them kind of sit for a little bit while the water is um, heating up, getting ready to boil. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open these. I kind of have a system whenever it comes to crab. Um, I'll take them and put like, I'll open like one bag. So these are two pound bags, just FYI. Um, I'll take one bag and dump it in the strainer and then like spray them down with uh, cold water just to kind of help them thaw out a little bit. Never use hot water when cooking crab if you've never made crab before or shrimp, don't use hot water. You always use cold water. Anyway, so I will spray these down and try and get some of these little ice chunks off of them. And then um, these guys will be ready after uh after these after the shrimp has already cooked and i take everything out of the water then these will go in very last and they only take like four minutes tops like it's it's a science it's down to a science at this point four minutes and they're done so yeah Okay, so the water is at a rolling bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and add the shrimp in. I used to have a little wire scooper thing, but it broke. So I'm just gonna use this little spaghetti thing and try to gently put it in so it doesn't splash up in my face. And mm. I did leave it in for just a smidge too long, but it's not com like completely ruined or anything like that. Four minutes, just like with the crab, and you're good to go. Okay, here goes the crab. I don't think all of this is going to fit, but we're going to try. Fun fact, my father-in-law taught me how to cook crab, so shout out to Lawrence. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, is it all going to fit? I think it might. Here we go. There we go. Look at that. Two pounds of crab. Where's my little spoon? Okay, so since the crab just went in, I've got two full sticks of butter here. I'm going to throw it in the microwave for like 20 seconds. And then I'm going to add in some garlic powder just to make it extra yummy. And then we'll mix it up. All right, so my beeper just went off. Let's go ahead and pull these suckers out. I like using these little Rubbermaid things. They have proven to be quite handy for uh, crab. All right, here we go with, ooh, that's a lot of butter. Let's get this all mixed up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in this garlic powder. This is what really makes it taste like super good. And here we go. We've got crab, shrimp, sausage, and corn, and some garlic butter. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this little tidbit and I will see you tomorrow.